G'day guys, we're going to have a challenge today. TMK Cicada versus Earplug. Wow. Oh. oh, the baby cows. Hey guys, I bet you're loving this weather. Hmm? You guys just look delicious. Especially that little dark red one stretching. Huh. I didn't roll the camera because I didn't have to one, I didn't have to fish here. And two, I I don't know why I didn't roll the camera. Luckily it was only a little fella. I sort of knew I was going to get one though. Even though it's a coolish day, I just thought, oh, I'll start with top water. See what's hiding in here. Even debarbed. A pain in the bum. Not a real travel fan. Alright, see you, mate. Alright. Oh, well, I know there's fish in here. The creek's pretty low, they haven't let anything out today, but. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now what I want to do today, I'm just gonna make sure there's a few fish up here to do it. So I've took the the easy option. Go on cicada. I've covered a fair bit of water, I'm starting to think there's no surface bite here. Might have to go subsurface. See if they're here. And this should be just on. Yeah, it's a soft shell cicada. I think that would get smashed. Oh, that little one didn't hesitate, but it took three cars to get him. Mm. Normally don't tip your toe, but today I am. Stretch or the pressure, always oh, not swimming. Or they just don't want a big fat cicada. Go figure. I think they do like that, I don't think so. I didn't want to smash it. Big, big bass. This one, big mega bass. You know, like if they didn't know there's this carb dropping in this hole right now. Oh, there you go. I had, to, I had to work it up though, like, and it's only little, so I'm not getting the big fellas. All that work, and now I call that hard work to get the fish. One little bass on the surface level. But when in Rome, like if that's all that's around, that's what we're going to target. I want your big, where's your big mates? Alright, that's this fish. That's a cicada. Now we definitely know this fish in here. They just, to get that many, to work lure that much for one little fish. We got the wrong lure on. Or the big fish aren't here. I think I've got the wrong lure on. Oh, see that mud boil, big carp. Haven't seen any carp in here yet till then. Oh, the little one. Yeah, see little little tiny guys. Oh, let's change our attitude. If we're only gonna catch a little fish, let's try something stupid. 
Yeah? Let's try. I happen to have in my pocket. I did have. Did have. Thank you. Here they are. Earplugs. Let's see if we can get one of my work earplugs. Because little bass don't do it for me. I still think there's bigger bass in here, I just think they're not interested in eating right now. I'm pretty sure, I haven't even looked at the moon for a while, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're on the full moon, so they're probably gorged all night. Anyway, let's see if we can get one on the earplug. Okay, just a typical work earplug, to flattened out. It'll come back in a minute. Oh, wait, do we want to go that way, or do we want to go that way? That'd be more of a popper, but I'm thinking more get those little legs. Try this way first. Oh, that's not something I didn't notice. The material it's made out of does not want to... Mm. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. I shall see, give it a minute and it'll pop back out to shape. I just, look, oh, there, look. Did you see that? I was about to say, I just turned the camera off to pick up my bag to go and have a bit of a, see how it's floated back into an earplug. I just turned the camera off pick up my bag and start fishing and I thought oh, I'll have one cast as I go <laughs> little bass just come up and had a go and then I turned the camera on and as you guys seen he had another go two goes you should stay by my feet right now well that's good he had he had two goes so that to me he was tiny though I mean he was like that big not about size right now though, that's why we put the plug on. We can only catch little fish and have fun with them. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn the camera off again, pack my gear and go look for my first bass on the knee plug. I didn't get him. I'll fix that problem. Oh. Once again, not a big bass, but who cares? That's two bass I've drawn, no hookups. It'll happen. It's 2 0 their way. They've been in all the holes, little bass, so they've got to be in this one. It's probably the better hole out of all of them. Come on, we just smash that. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, there's, there's me hit plug back. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I hope the camera's running. Whoa! I just heard a feeding bass. <laughs> this is the best bass I've caught. Oh, get out of there. $35 TMK soft shell cicada. Catching little guys. Oh, okay, water dog. And this guy on an earplug. Get in the boat. Look at that. <laughs> on an earplug. I have to turn you off and on because sometimes my camera doesn't work and I don't know if I got it. Look! That is a cracker. And I, I actually didn't see the strike 
because I, I was listening to a bass feeding over there. So, there it is. There's the hole. And there's my earplug. Awesome. Hey. Oh, that was fun. Top shot hooks pop out easy. Oh, thank you, Mother, for the rabbits. See you, mate. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, there you have it. The $35 Tienko soft shell. He was catching me little fish. <laughs> but this thing just got annihilated. <laughs> oh, jeez. What do you do with that? Uh, I know what we do, we see if we can catch another one. More rubber to grab. An awesome little little lure, eh? Service lure. That's uh, just a mockery to the lure fraternity that is. Let's see if this other one's there still. He smashed that. And what about the fight? Uh, he wasn't the biggest of bass, but he uh, carried on like he was a Highlander. That's the spot there. That's where he was. That's where I heard the chop. Unless it was a big old carp. <laughs> that was instant. One of his got mates. My hook out. Yep. Awesome. I don't know, it's once it's got a bit of water in it, it really started to uh, cast well too. Big hit out there. What a magnificent fish. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, guys. You've got to like that. Hit the thumbs button for a like for that one because I liked it. <laughs> I loved it. I'll get another one yet. visual now. I didn't see that one come up and take the lure. It was just awesome though. I've got the fever now. He's got the fever. So now it's still floating but it's got the water in it. I can just punch it through the trees. Oh, Miss that one? Oh, I'll get that one. He missed the lure. Oh, I don't want to move. Damn. Yeah, I might be getting. Oh, no. Can I get him? Let's go around this tree. He sort of come from the back of that lay down. He didn't actually hit the lure, he just smashed it beside it. So I'm hoping that he's going to go for another reaction bite here. What have got him before I went this shot first? Oh, it was Silver Flash. Alright, well he showed himself. That one's just waiting for a switch. You don't look that big now, eh? Hey? Oh, another silver. Oh, got him. Silver flash. <laughs> another earplug bass. I was almost going to do a switch on that guy. Glad I didn't now. Battery's getting low, I've got a spare in my pocket. Having too much fun. Way too much fun.
Must be water doggies in there. Oh, yeah, got him. <laughs> Another one. Only little. But the biggest bass today has come off one of these. And uh, when you look at the TMK Cicada, it's got two sets of travels on it. All right. My first couple of strike ratios were pretty bad because I didn't have the hook out far enough. But since then, this thing's been whopping them. And I've got one single hook, so I can run, I can run this thing over everything. And that, that fish there got stirred up just uh, by the sound of this thing coming across the water. So you can imagine what a big bass is going to do to it when they're on the bite. Like, listen, this, this is a shutdown day. There's full moon, overcast, no cicada hatch, no insect hatch. It's not even a fly. But that little fella wanted it. <laughs> Got like a cross between a fizzer and a pencil lure action to it. I think it maybe take the turn it around to the popper side. Next, try that out. Just enjoying catching these fish on it though, so after one more I'll change it. Let's see if we can make it pop as well. Switch it around to the flat side and straight away, ooh, we don't lose this. Straight away I see a much more jiggity jiggity action. Oh yeah, more cicada like. So there you go, now we've got a lure that acts like a cicada one way, acts like a pencil fizzer type lure the other. How awesome is that? Alright. That's uh, yeah, that's blowing me away. You got two lures in one with the earplug. I think I paid two dollars fifty for a packet of them, and I've used one and it's still fine. So then I got yeah, two act like I said, two actions, two actions on the one lure. That's crazy. Like, especially when it's not a lure. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I ain't gonna fish out, but I think that's the end of the video. I just wanted to prove I could catch a fish on an earplug. I was curious to see what was the better lure out of soft shell cicada and the earplug and I'm pretty sure the earplug won that. I'll put it this way, I'd rather be fishing with this on the way back out than the, than the soft shell. So let's have a determine a winner. Oh look at the carp chews. Craziest thing about this is I've seen bass take the body of a dragonfly and leave the wings in the water They're that precise so how the hell do they come up and hit an earplug hey? watch this jiggity jiggity jig jiggity jiggity jig oh it's a popper and a cicada. Oh, hear that. Oh, it's a weight bait now. Oh. Nah, this thing is twice the little soft shell cicada is. Funny, I was walking out and then I turned this earplug around to the flat side and started getting that weight bait chop. Now, I've got to keep fishing and see if I can catch another fish with it. Weird, I was walking out and spooked the duck. And uh, next time I hear a little splash, so I throw this in. The little bass comes up and smashes. I missed him, the hook was back in, I hadn't pulled it out. So I'm gonna go up here, see if I can trick him. 
He just showed himself from that duck. You think it's spooking a duck and a duck flying away would make it less likely to catch a fish. But not with these guys. I need to chuck a rock in there to get him going. Now, if I switched lures, I'd get him like the subsurface straight away. We're not after that, though. He was only little, I knew he was only little, but fair dinkum, I spooked the duck. The duck flew away. He lashed out at the water where the duck flew away. So, I just went more and more aggressive. Now that's one of the things that I noticed with the soft shell cicada today, gilding, with the soft shell cicada, um, I had to really slow it down. And then this thing, I was using it that way first and it was very much like a pencil lure or a uh, little fizzer you know it was it was sort of walking the dog and once I put it onto this not only did I get a little pop in action but uh -huh. not only did I get a pop in action but I got myself like a little mini weight bait as well just got to rehook him a bit And I've really got the hook set going well now. Once I put that hook point out, did you listen to this? I'm too, too high up here now. I've already started the conversation, I might as well finish it. Though. This is what, once I heard that duck, this is why I knew this would work. Hear that? very much like a popper and once I got their attention then I just started that jiggity 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 jig and that's what drew him caught another bass awesome so I'm I'm rating this earplug over a soft shell cicada on this particular bite any day would I rather use this than a soft shell cicada any day uh, what was surprising was the, the weight I didn't think it'd cast but this thing, see it's full of water, so it gets quite heavy, but it's so buoyant, you know, and to get that weight bait sound, a little chop chop sound, I mean, that's just crazy. I think there'd be one under that, wouldn't you? Had to be. Oh, that's one. Oh, got him. Yeah. Oh, good fish, good fish, good fish. Oh, come here. Oh, he's wrapped. Get off, he's off. Get up here. <laughs> I had to finish the day. Now that's I knew there'd be one there. That's that's with it as a popper, with it flat like that. It's a, like a popper and a weight bait. How awesome is that, hey? Okay? Come on. Yeah. Another earplug bass. The hookup rate's exceptionally well now. I, I 
once I pulled that point out everything's grabbing it everything's catching it and that was like a popper then this way was definitely like a pencil this way was more smacking into the water and when I hit it it'd give it a good old chop yeah awesome thanks for that buddy see you man yes I love it well popper versus cicada I am completely and utterly biased to the I mean earplug versus cicada I'm completely and utterly biased to the earplug so yeah, probably the one thing that I wanted to point at, get across here with this there's so many um, there's so many lures on the market that just work you just throw them out wind them back they work but technique driven lure retrieves is what really catches fish so, so I'm using an earplug sure but it's what I'm doing with the plug that's uh, making it bite and then look at that I just went right through two trees got my little back awesome Ooh. definitely that pop 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 is what woke him up awesome one more <laughs> 